There are lots of questions about the safety of Pope Francis. An Italian newspaper reports the Pope is the target of ISIS militants. El Tempo cites unidentified Israeli sources as saying they believe ISIS has the Pope, quote unquote, in the crosshairs. Senior Vatican analyst John Allen is here with me. And John Allen, um, how serious is this? Well, look, I mean, at one level, given what's going on in the world, you can never completely dismiss the prospect of an ISIS threat against anyone up to and including the Pope. This That's, isn't just anyone. This, this is isn't just anyone, quite right. Uh, however, that said, uh, you know, the Vatican publicly is very much playing this down, saying they don't believe this is serious, there's no climate of alarm, and that, of course, is in part because of the nature of the report itself. As you said, uh, a report in an Italian newspaper citing unnamed sources in Israeli intelligence talking about a kind of hypothetical potential mm -hmm threat against the Pope. There's no suggestion of any hard intelligence that would tell you that a plot is actually imminent. Now, on the other hand, I can also guarantee you uh, that the Vatican security people right now are having conversations with their opposite numbers in Italy, in the United States, and elsewhere uh, about whether or not there might be some suggestion of something and what, you know, common sense precautions they might want to take. We we were just talking in commercial break about though how you know how how fun it is to cover this pope and how accessible this pope is and and how he you know often walks amongst the people and 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 so even though the vatican may be saying <laughs> we need to you know ratchet up security because of, the, of this th threat um do you think that would actually happen well, you know, I said immediately after Francis was elected that the whole world may be charmed by him. The one constituency that is not is his security detail. Like, I can tell you for sure, sales of heart pills at the Vatican Pharmacy went through the roof, okay, in the first couple of months. Now, look, I mean, he has gotten better. I mean, the, the argument that was made to him is, is, that worked uh, is not that you're putting yourself at risk. Frankly, that's not a, that doesn't cut a lot of ice with him. Uh, the argument that worked was you're making life more difficult for the people who are charged with keeping you safe. Okay. Uh, and, and that moved him. And so you've, if we've seen in public the kind of evolution of Francis. He's much more willing to allow his security detail to get in place before he hops off the Jeep or plunges into a crowd. He is. Uh, That's what we don't see. That's what yeah, we're not I mean, aware he's, of. He's, he's more willing to, when people want to hand him things, he makes sure that one of the security guys goes through it, does a kind of cursory examination okay. before he takes it and stuff like that. Now that said, Look, keeping any world leader right now safe uh, is, is a hard job. Keeping this world leader safe, this kind of spontaneous let it all hang out uh, kind of people's pope, mm -hmm. uh, it's an especially challenging task.